as the second episode of the highly anticipated season 2 of House of the Dragon begins, the tension in the realm of Westeros reaches new heights. In this thrilling chapter of the Renner of the Cruel, the brutal murder of Prince Jayhari sends shockwaves throughout the realm, prompting King Aegon to swiftly convene his small council to plot revenge against Renera. With emotions running high, Ser Otto Hightower suggests a public funeral to tarnish Renera's reputation. During the procession, a herald chants, Renera the Cruel, while Alicent and Helena receive the condolences of the grieving populace. King Aegon too, with his usual restraint, smashes up his father's cherished model of King's Landing in his rage. The intrigue deepens when a city watch guard known as Blood is captured and confesses to Lord Lari Strong that Demon Targaryen hired him for the assassination, with an unknown ratcatcher as his accomplice. King Aegon II beats the captured assassin, Blood, to death and orders the execution of all the castle's pest control workers. On Dragonstone, Renera grows anxious about her diminishing popularity and begins to suspect that Demon orchestrated Jayhari's death, particularly if Eamon was absent. Her suspicion and mistrust push Demon to fly to Harenhal in search of new allies. Meanwhile, Eamon, plagued by remorse over Lucerys' death, seeks solace in a brothel, distancing himself from the court's machinations. The treacherous Sir Criston Cole, ever the schemer, commands Sir Eric to disguise himself as his twin, Eric, and infiltrate Dragonstone to kill Renera. In the highly stressful final scene of the episode, Eric clears obstacle after obstacle and manages to make it to Renera's bed before he stopped. However, the plot takes a tragic turn when Eric discovers Eric's intentions and, in a heart-wrenching confrontation, kills his brother in Renera's chambers. Overcome with grief and guilt, Eric takes his own life, leaving the court reeling from this double tragedy. Bela had a couple of moments that suggested a more important role to come for her character. She and Jace connected over their grief and memories, and later, Renera summoned her and asked her to act as a mole. In King's Landing, Alicent walks in on Aegon too sobbing and chooses to walk away instead of comforting him. In a desperate bid to quell unrest and consolidate power, King Aegon publicly executes all ratcatchers, including a man named Cheese, inciting fear of a potential populist revolt. This brutal act infuriates Otto Hightower who fears the king's rash actions may lead to widespread rebellion. In a dramatic move, Aegon dismisses Otto as Hand of the King and appoints Ser Kristen Cole to the position, further escalating tensions within the realm. This chapter expertly weaves together themes of betrayal, grief, and political intrigue, showcasing the fragile nature of trust and the relentless pursuit of power. The actions of each character send ripples through the narrative, creating a complex and compelling story that keeps readers on the edge of their seats. As alliances shift and new threats emerge, the stage is set for even greater conflicts and drama in the unfolding saga of the Renner of the Cruel. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.